Yep. Yeah. Oh, I love your shoes. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, this is for you. That'll just go in your pocket. It can actually just go in this one. Back there, yeah. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then this is just going to go under your jacket to hide the wire. If you need me to hold anything. Oh, I see. I see. My fingers are not working in the cold yet. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, my fingers are numb. <laughs> Yeah, I take it everywhere I go. I put one in um, one of the tow trucks up there because I was like, Yeah. Hey, Mike. Yeah, that's fine. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. Oh. What channel is this? Uh, channel 8 with TV 8. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Indianapolis. Oh, wow. So, a little, little ways, but not too far. Yeah, that is Midwest still. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna see if I can get nice. I have two jackets and I'm like <laughs> Thank you. It's like my trademark. <laughs> How did you choose like the green? Yeah, when I was started TikTok, I said if I got up to 30,000 followers, I'd dye my beard green. And, <laughs> and then I did, and then it went to like 150, and, and it just kept going. Nice. So I got stuck with it. Can you take a small step in where that way? Thank you. That's perfect. Great. Could you look at me the whole time? Can you say and spell your first and last name for me? Brian Wagaman, W-A-G-A-M-A-N. And it's Brian with an I or yes, a Y? Yes, with an I. I. Okay, regular spelling. So you have a TikTok page. How many followers do you have and how did it come to be? Uh, on TikTok, I'm a five, little over 500,000. Uh, I started doing videos during the, the coronavirus to ill past time and it, it started to get people interested in the towing world that aren't affiliated with it. Uh, so I was able to use that platform to help bring awareness to the slow down move over laws. Uh, it's, it's done really well. So you're from Indianapolis. Yeah. Uh, 
Nicholas, what brought you out here today? Uh, well, I hear I hear of tow ops getting uh, killed in the line of duty all the time. Uh, but for some reason, this one hit a little bit harder, hit, hit close to home. He is about the same age as my son. And I checked out his Facebook page and saw that he shared a lot of my, my videos. And it just, it really pulled at the heartstrings. It's, it's a mixed emotion because the sadness of the event, uh, definitely, but at the same time you get the brotherhood of everybody here coming together. It's a real heartwarming feeling. Tell me a bit about just how important, you know, safety on the road for tow truck drivers is and what people need to know about that. The, the, there's so many different numbers of tow truck operators killed. AAA put out a report a couple of years ago said every six days tow ops killed. Uh, I think that's that number's a little bit lower now, but still it's too high of a number. Uh, it's, there's, a, there's a slowdown move over law in all 50 states. It's just getting it to be enforced is the tricky part. A lot of times there's no witnesses to it. Uh, there almost has to be a cop on the scene to witness it happen. Uh, it's it's a real problem. Throughout your career and your life, I mean, have you seen something like this before with so many people coming from across the state and across the country to support this family and this community? Oh yeah, yes. Every time a tow off is, is killed in the line of duty, especially, uh, I see the, the entire family of, of tow operators, they all come together. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced. Just to be a little more cautious, put down their phones while they're driving. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the answer is. I wish I wish there was a silver bullet, but we just all need to work to work together. Is there anything else you'd like to add, or anything I forgot to ask about? I, I don't think so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. I gotta uh, check out your TikTok page now. There's that. Thank you. There we go. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks for braving the cold. Oh, he's been up to midnight, so he's heading home. Oh, yeah. So I'm staying out here. <laughs>